Hey guys, B here. Um, welcome to our next installment of Nerd Herd. Um, today is Wednesday, November the 11th, uh, 2020. And um, this month we are reading uh, Hearts Unbroken by Cynthia Lita Smith. And today we read a little bit... We only, we only got to read a little bit. Um, but... Um, we were introduced to a few new characters. Uh, one of these is Rain. Um, Lou, so Lou is our main character. And Rain, we got introduced to Rain um, as her cousin. And uh, Rain introduces this idea to Lou of... Um, and it gives Lou an idea for a story to write for the newspaper about um, bullying, um, particularly when it comes to sexual bullying, so like slut-shaming and things like that, um, because Rain has noticed that people can say things and people will just like believe it um, without questioning it. And, um, Lou then finds out, you know, she's talking about the story with her, uh, her friends and other people on the newspaper, and she finds out that her ex-boyfriend Cam has been saying things like this about Lou, and it's just rude. <laughs> it's just so rude. <laughs> um... So, but in the meantime, Lou is working on a different story, and so she goes and interviews this kid named Dylan at a gas station, and um, then she brings that story back to the newspaper, and she and Joey, her co, they're not like co-writers, but they're both on the same beat, um, Joey and Lou get feedback on their stories, and even though Joey had, like, this awesome story about this kid who rode a bike a really long distance to raise a awareness for muscular dystrophy, like, his feedback was that they didn't really feel anything with his story. You know, it was a cool story, but they didn't, like, get anything out of it. And Lou, on the other hand, she just interviewed some kid at a gas station who works at a gas station. And... They really liked her story because she um, made them feel something. So uh, that was that was pretty cool that Lou got good feedback and Joey didn't. Because last time, Joey was acting... Joey was kind of rude, right? He's not really uh, very humble. So maybe getting some feedback like this is will help. Help him feel a little more humble. Um, but also, something really cool that happened is that Huey, Lou's little brother, Huey got the part of the Tin Man, which uh, is so cool. It's so cool. Um, you know, Huey is just a freshman. And, um, everyone else who got a part is an upperclassman. Um, so it's a big deal. It's a big deal for Huey to get, uh, a primary role in this play. Um, so, like, I know Huey's not, like, a real person, but Loki, I'm, like, proud of him. I really am. But, um, so, right at the part where I had to stop for this week, um, one of the other writers for the paper, um, Emily. Uh, so we get to read one of her articles. And um, it's about the diversification of the cast for the play. Um, and so, like, one of the quotes that Emily gets is from uh, an African-American student who basically said that she's been looked over for the parts of 
you know, all of the plays leading up to this one, and it's only now that the theater director is doing this um, inclusive casting that she finally got cast as a lead role, which leads me to believe that she's actually really good. Um, but for the sake of, quote, historical accuracy or whatever, um, <laughs> uh, you know, she's been looked over as not um, a suitable uh, actress, which is just absurd. But in this um, article that Emily wrote, she also has a quote from the uh, Parents Against Revisionist Theater, which is a very fancy word or way of saying, um, well, I'll just leave it what it is. Parents Against Revisionist Theater. Um, and the quote that she got from this group is, quote, it's trying to fix old discrimination with new discrimination instead of moving forward. It's a sad state of affairs when we're so politically correct that the truly talented kids are pushed aside so that some teacher can advance her personal agenda. We simply cannot allow this sort of reverse racism to rate take root in East Hannesburg schools, end quote. And it's just so misguided. That idea is just so misguided. Um, it would appear that the students who are actually qualified have been discriminated against in the past, but this parent seems to think that the new inclusive casting policy is the actual discrimination, and it's just silly. It's just silly. So I am curious to see how we will um, go from here. What kind of things will happen? So, are you reading this book? Are you reading this book too, Hearts Unbroken? If so, do you like it? Are you enjoying it so far? I think it can be a little clumsy. The writing is a little clumsy in parts for me. Um, what do you think? Let me know. Um, until next time, I hope that you all stay safe, take care, wash your hands, and, um, we will see you on Wednesday. All right. Bye, guys.